Today, I'm on the floor. I don't know if you can tell or not. That's normally the chair that I sit in. Today, we are going to be doing a little pack with me video. I'm leaving for California, LA, Pasadena area tomorrow. I'm going to go celebrate my older brother's birthday. He's out in California. And we're just gonna have a good time. I'm driving there and I'm in Arizona, so it's only a five hour drive, so it's not too bad and the G just coming with. So make sure you subscribe down below, hit that subscribe button, ring the bell. Um, also, if you wanna follow me on Instagram, here's my Instagram handle. Yeah, you can follow me for more style tips. I'm not gonna show all my outfits today because I'm gonna be doing a lookbook at the end of the week. Um, I'm kind of filming ahead so I don't have to film on my trip. So yeah, um, make sure you like this video if you want more like packing with me videos on before my trips that I go on. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into the video. So first off, I'm gonna start off with a few staples that I like to bring with me, just basics. I really don't pack that extravagant on my trips because I like to throw outfits together super easy. So I normally just kind of stick with basics and not really worry about matching colors and putting outfits together, I can just throw two basics together and call it a day and it takes up a lot less space in my uh, luggage. Currently, I use this purple uh, rolling bag from Delcy. I've had this bag forever. I also have the matching uh, checked bag part. I love them, they're great. I love that the zipper's on the front so it doesn't fold like a book. It folds like the top comes off and you have the bigger compartment. It just makes it a lot easier to pack things in versus having it on two sides. Personal preference. Another packing tip that I like to have are these storage like containers. They make it really easy if you're living out of your suitcase and you don't want to unpack your whole suitcase. You don't have to like dig through like with this because it's all one compartment. You don't have to dig through the whole compartment to get to a close at the bottom. You can just pull out your section so you can like put tops in one or whatever, you can do it by outfits. Really easy to like organize, you can even label them. They're really nice. These are CalPack. I got this from like my FabFitFun. FabFitFun, is that what it is? Fit Fab Fun. I never know what order they're in, but I got it from that box. All right, so let's move on to outfits. Um, so this is just a black um, cut off turtleneck. I love this. Summer, winter, wherever you want to wear it, it's just a nice classy top that you can put with jewelry to really dress it up or you can dress it down with like a pair of shorts. It's such an easy, easy top. I can't remember where I got this from though. Let me look. Christian Siriano and it's a size, I think it's a size medium. Yeah, it's a medium. Um, I think I probably got this from like Nordstrom or something like that. I just really love this top. It's really easy to pair with things. It's black, so easy, goes with every outfit, and it just looks great on. Looks bomb. Next thing. So I'll probably, since it is hot, like I get it, it's gonna be in the 90s and the 80s, but I do get really cold. I'm a cold person. So I'll probably bring this jacket with if we go out at night or we're doing something at night like walking, this is a nice jacket to kind of just throw on. This is that free people jacket that I got a few weeks ago from my video. Um, <clears throat> it's just a nice like sturdy jacket that will look good with anything that you have on. It's just a neutral color. And yeah, I like this jacket a lot. And it's cropped, so it's very flattering. Um, and then I'll probably bring, since it is hot, I'll probably bring a pair of shorts. These are my Levi's. I don't really know. These don't say, but they have a, I'm pretty sure they're the 501. And I just like them because they fit really nice. These are like my favorite pair of denim jeans that I have right now. They fit well in the waist and they come down long enough that you're not showing anything. These are good and they're a good color and they're not super distressed. So you can dress them up with a pair of heels or I'll probably wear these with like a basic top and my white tennis shoes. 
easy. And then I always bring a my dark blue denim lucky jeans. These are like, these are my size fours. What are they? I think they're the Bridget Skinny. Yeah, these jeans, best pair of jeans you'll ever try on. Like if you're ever at a Lucky Brand store, try on their Bridget Skinnies. I have so many of these. I have them in this color and then like one in a light wash. They're just such a good jean. They're so, they're kind of stretchy, but they just hug your curves and um, they're long enough. So that's really nice. Lucky jeans have nice longer jeans. Um, highly, highly recommend these great pair of jeans. And then I'll probably just bring my black skirt from Madewell. It's easy. I can tuck something into it and wear a belt since it is kind of big, but it's long enough that I'm, I wouldn't feel uncomfortable like wearing it out in public and like having to bend down and accidentally flash someone or something. It's just a good jean or it's a good like skirt to have because it's just super casual. And then to go on with that is I always, always bring a black hat. It's very important. Um, it's just, wow, this is full of lint, um, but just easy, easy to style with any of these outfits that you can have. Adds a little bit of athleisure and it protects your face from the sun. Also, really sorry if you can hear my dog snoring in the background. All right, next we're going to move on to jewelry. I normally just pack like light jewelry, so I've got my Armenian necklace right here and then I'll wear like these gold hoops. I normally wear like my jewelry that has clasps in the back like of my earrings so I don't go and lose earrings on my trip um, and that's pretty much all I'll do so I'll wear just like gold jewelry the whole trip or I'll pick silver and wear silver jewelry the whole trip just depends on what I'm feeling and what my accessories are next thing are bags I normally pick depending on what I'm packing I'll pick one bag for like daytime and this is a coach like over the shoulder bag. I love this bag, it's like a crossbody. It's really nice because it has all these different compartments and a big compartment in the back where you can put <laughs> your mask or you can put um, your phone or stuff like that. It still fits like phones and it's pretty slim. And I like the fact that it has zippers so it's not as easy to get pickpocketed on. Um, also, you could do, you can wear a lot of black so you could do like a black bag like this. This is also crossbody. It's Furla. I don't know, my parents got this for me, but it just has a bigger compartment. This one's a little harder to take to travel just because I like that this one's so thin. It fits easily in your bag if you don't want to carry it with you on the plane. Um, this one's just a little bit bigger and wider, so it's a little tougher to um, kind of fit in a carry-on. And then I like to bring, like if we're going out, I like to bring like a clutch. Just a cute little clutch that you can, this actually has a thing that you can strap across your body, kind of like my other ones, but I normally just wear it like a clutch, and I got this from BB, but it's really cute, it just is gold, so that's why I'm wearing gold jewelry on this trip, because all my bags have gold on them, and then it's got this like sparkly kind of design on here, just very simple, easy, easy outfit like easy accessory to have pair with an outfit. Next thing are a good pair of sunglasses. I don't like to bring my nice sunglasses. I bring like cheap sunglasses that are kind of trendy. So I do like, I don't have to worry if I lose them. I'm not losing like $500, like a $500 pair of sunglasses or something like that. Or like if they're a gift. So I just have these round, cool, like 70s glasses. I love these. I've had these forever. I'm also blind, so I bring my actual glasses. So in case something happens with a contact or something happens in my eye, I need to wear my actual glasses. These are my Burberry um, red glasses. I'm not going to put them on because I am blind and I will blind myself. If I put them on, I won't be able to see anything. So because I have my contacts in. So yeah, I just keep these in their case. I take them everywhere with me just in case something happens um, and then we'll move on to shoes so I normally I really hate packing a lot of shoes because they take up so much space but I have these kind of strappy brown heels 
that I showed in one of my old videos. I think it was my first one that I showed. And I've gotten so much wear out of these already. I love them so much, they're so comfortable. It's another thing is I like to be comfortable when I'm walking places and traveling. Um, and so these are a really great shoe for nighttime. If I need a dress, like something to pair with a dress, these are great for that. They're just an easy shoe and comfortable. Good for like a long walk. These need to be cleaned so badly. But normally I bring like two pairs of tennies, so like, sorry, these are so dirty. I haven't cleaned these since like college, which I really should, or just get a new pair. But they're my high top um, Converse. God, they're so dirty, I'm so sorry. But yeah, these are a great shoe to have too. Fire truck is going somewhere. Um, sorry about that. But yeah, they're, they're a great high top shoe to have. They go with like shorts, jeans, dress, anything. They're a really great shoe and they fold up really easy. They're a really easy shoe to just kind of fold up and put in your bag. Then I normally wear, so I have those brown shoes. I normally also bring a pair of like black sandals that are flats, especially in the summertime. They're just an easy shoe to throw on. They're comfortable and they're cute. And they're just a nice shoe to like walk in. Good shoe. Sorry, these are also really dirty because these are like my everyday shoe. And then my brand new shoes that I got are, which I probably will wear, I bring another pair of tennies. So I normally like to bring a black pair and a white pair and these are my brand new white Christians. Um, they are the Vera Flat Calf. So they're just a good white crisp shoe. They've got the red bottoms. And they're very subtle. I don't really like to wear um, things that are like, if I'm wearing a designer piece, I really hate people to know that I'm wearing a designer piece. I want it to be really subtle. Um, so I don't wear a lot of like designer pieces that have their brand or their logo all over them because I don't want to be a target to someone who is um, looking to jump me or <laughs> rob me. I really don't want to be a target to that. So I normally try and buy things that are not, I just don't want to like, I don't like to be flashy either. So I like to just wear nice, simple things that I really like the quality of the shoe. That was one of the reasons why I got it. I had some Adidas All-Stars and they like destroyed the back of my feet. So I ended up getting these instead and they're just so much more soft and comfortable on the back of my heels. These are a great shoe. I love them so far. And they're really flattering. I really don't wear white shoes that often and these don't make my feet look like huge. So yeah, I'll definitely be bringing those. And then I also like to bring hair accessories, especially in the summertime when it gets really hot. I like to bring like hair bows and stuff for if I want to throw my hair up but I still want to look cute, I'll bring a few just to kind of like jazz up an outfit. Really cute. I always bring bobby pins too. I think that's really important because if you're doing like a small simple hairstyle or you're putting your hair up in a bun or something like that and you have this really tough spot that just won't go in, bobby pins are like your best friend. So I, I probably won't bring this whole case but I'll probably take a few bobby pins and bring them with me. Um, next thing, what do we want to move to? For hair, I guess we're finished with all the clothes stuff. For hair, um, I normally like to bring just a curling iron. A lot of hotels that you're in, they have those um, hair dryers that I'll probably use. My hair is now red, which it wasn't. I'm naturally a brunette, and my hair's now red. It's like a burgundy color, and it stains everything when it's wet. It's so frustrating. <laughs> I might change it back to brown soon. But I normally will have to blow dry my hair after. And I don't really have a hair dryer because I just always went to bed with my hair wet when it was brown. Um, but now if I go to bed with my hair wet when it's red, it doesn't look good in the morning. It like, my sheets are white and it just is not a good mix. So I'll have to use a hair dryer, go out and buy a hair dryer um, but normally like hotels have hair dryers in their room. Um, so normally I just kind of bring a curling iron. Sometimes I bring a straightener, but I'm too lazy this time to bring a straightener. So I'll just bring a curling iron. It's just easier for me to work. This one has been a 
longtime favorite. I've had this since my sophomore year of college. It's a, it's Hot Tools, I believe, yeah. And it's just an L-shaped curling iron. I don't know why, but I just love, the shape doesn't really like do anything for me, but I love the barrel size. It's like big enough that it just kind of creates a wave. Um, it's just really nice. You can even like set your time on here for how long you want each piece to be like on there, but I don't do that. I just kind of like count it out in my head. But yeah, it's really nice. It's got like a swivel cord. It's got a long cord. It's just a great, great curling iron. It's held up really well over the years. Another thing that I like to do, I didn't bring my shampoo and conditioner out here, but if I am going on a plane, I normally will put my, like go buy travel bottles and put my shampoo and conditioner and other hair products in travel bottles and label them just because I don't want to fall into the issue of getting on a plane and going through security and having them take my things away. Wow. So normally I just um, put them in travel size bottles. Same with like my deodorant. For some reason, the security at the airport, they don't like my deodorant. Um, it's too big. So I have to either bring a stick or check my bag, which I've had them take my deodorant away before. That was kind of sad. So normally, if I'm traveling on a plane, I'll bring this deodorant instead. It's the Love, Beauty, and Planet, and it's in Muru, Muru, Muru Butter and Rose. It has 24-hour odor protection and no aluminum. I really like this one. It smells really great. It smells like roses. And this one is the Dove Advanced Care. It's a spray-on. It's like a dry spray, and it smells like lavender. It's really nice, too. Um, like I said, I'll normally, I won't bring this huge bottle of hairspray, I'll bring like a small travel bottle, but this is the Paul Mitchell, this is just what I've been using recently. It's the flexible style, super clean spray, and it's got a touchable hold. And it's just really nice, it's really light, so I don't have to like worry about my hair being like crunchy. When I was in show choir, it was like, we used the Freeze It hairspray, and that stuff was so crunchy, and I hated hated it. It was terrible. I'll never buy like a super hold hairspray ever again. It's just not that I just can't handle that anymore. It's just like I hate the feeling of my hair being crunchy. That's why I don't really use mousse either just because my hair gets so crunchy when I use mousse. But I really like this hairspray. It's doing really well so far. Then I like to bring, let's move to like skincare products. I like to bring these and I will also put these in travel size containers if I'm going on a plane. So this is the Burt's Bees cleansing oil. I don't use makeup wipes. They're bad for the environment and they kind of, the wipe itself kind of destroys your skin. It's like roughing up your skin even more. Um, so I like to use a cleansing oil and this is coconut and argan oil. If you don't want to buy this, literally, if you're not allergic to coconut oil, just like, and it, you don't think it'll clog your pores buy like a jar of coconut oil, it's great to cook with, and you can also take your makeup off with it. Pro tip. So yeah, I'll bring that. And then for my second cleanse, I use this Osea Ocean Cleansing Milk. I just got into this, I haven't used very much of it, but it's like for sensitive skin. And I really like it so far, it comes in a glass bottle, so that's really nice. Um, and yeah, I'm a, I'm a big fan, it's fragrance, fr fragrance free. Then, I also like to use, I've been using the Batiste dry shampoo for brunettes, but when I travel, I'll normally just take this one from Lush, the no drought dry shampoo. It smells really good. It's like grapefruit and lime scented. scented. It will leave white residue in your hair though, so only use like a little bit of it at a time. Then, what else? Oh, this is my makeup bag. I love it. It's got my name on there, like my initials. I don't really pack that much makeup, only like blush, eyeshadow, concealer, and that's about it. Oh, and like contour, oh, like con my contour palette, but it's pretty easy. I don't really like to travel with that much makeup um, just because there's no point for me to. Uh, I can get by with not wearing very minimal makeup and I don't really like heavy makeup, especially when it's hot outside, it's just easier. Um, and then I like to bring little roll-on perfumes that I keep in my purse. So this one is the Sparkling Blush by Mike, Michael Kors. 
and this is just the coach, like their traditional scented one. And these are like little, I think this one's a roll-on. Yeah, they're both roll-ons. Um, and I like to just keep them in my bag. They're pretty small um, and use them throughout the day. And then I also, this is where I keep all of like my skincare and I go pretty hard on my skincare, I'm not gonna lie. I've gotten into using like a lot of oils because surprisingly they don't clog my pores. Um, so at night, I've gotten into like Mad Hippie, the brand. At night I'll use this exfoliating serum after I do my double cleanse and then um, leave that on while I'm brushing my teeth. It has apple stem cells. It smells really good. It's really nice to put on your skin. It's just kind of an exfoliant. And then I use this vitamin C serum morning and night. It's really nice. And then I use this eye cream from Mad Hippie as well. And I like that most of all of their serums come in like a glass bottle, so they're nice to recycle. And then I will use this. So at the old yoga studio that I went to, I used to go to in Cave Creek, there was a place next to it that had like, it was an essential oil place, but um, they make everything there. And they did like a sun protectant for me. So it's kind of like a sunscreen. Um, it's really nice. It comes in a bottle. It smells really good too. Um, but yeah, I guess I can't recommend that to you unless you live in Arizona. It's called Zona's Oils. And then I also use their moisturizer at night. It's just a, um, it's just a normal oil. It's got sunflower, marigold, jojoba, and lavender. It's really nice. It's really calming. And then I always, I always have like chapstick on me. This is just one that I got from like the Arizona Cardinals from going to one of their games. But I always try and bring one that has like SPF in it. And I like put one in each bag so I do not forget my sunscreen. Very important. And then what else do I have left? What's in here? I don't even know what's in here. So here is my, oh, heat and UV protectant. So this is like what I put on my hair before I use hot tools on it. I like this stuff, it's the Hottie Toddy Dry Bar um, heat protectant. Protects up to 450 degrees Fahrenheit. That's nice, I like it. It's a liquid, so I've actually never used a liquid one before, but I'm almost out. I need to get a new heat protectant. And then I just have contact stuff, like normal stuff, take my contacts out at night. Um, and then glass, like eyeglass cleaner. What else? I use the Tom's Whole Care toothpaste. I love Tom's, they're great. Hairbrush, which my hairbrush is really dirty, but it's the um, wet brush. So I like using that a lot. And then I always use this, I bring this clip with me everywhere I go. It's nice to part your hair and put it up or do like a hairstyle with it. It's really easy and it's um, nice for like thick hair. It really, it's big enough to be able to get everything in there and hold it securely. And then I also bring like hair accessories because that's really easy to do on a day that you don't really feel like curling your hair. Or I also bring these clear hair ties. They're just easy, like if I want to braid my hair or something or do like a French braid, um, they make it really easy to do without having to use like a black hair tie or random colors. Um, and then I also use this. This is probably the last thing I'll show you. I don't think I have anything else, and this is pretty nifty. It's like a small little lint roller. So I actually, I think my mom won this, probably at the corporate quarter horse challenge. But it's just a small little lint roller that you can take with you. Makes it really easy to travel. Cleans the lint off of things. It's really nice. Um, other than that, I bring a ton of hair ties just to be safe. And since Gigi's coming, I will probably have to pack all of her things up tonight too, including her food and her medication and all of that good stuff, her bed, her um, food and water bowl and all that fun stuff because Thomas does not have any pets. So I gotta bring everything over there. So yeah, I hope you like this video. Um, I hope that gave you a little bit of insight onto how I pack and kind of like my mindset when I pack, um, especially on a summer vacation. I really don't like to pack that much, even though it looks like I'm packing a lot. I really don't like to pack too, like, overpack. I really try not to, but nine times out of ten, I normally am overpacking. I bring way too many pairs of shoes. But yeah, subscribe down below if and ring that bell if you want to see more videos of me and when I upload. And 
make sure you follow me on Instagram to follow my style inspiration while I'm in California and my outfits. Yeah, I hope you like this video. I will see you next time. Bye.